Alright, so we're going to do a game review on Friday the 13th for the NES. What the fuck? Okay, so now we're playing the game Friday the 13th. Okay, so you get to the menu screen, which is map of Camp Crystal Lake. And you have six boxes that show the camp counselor's faces. And usually it's better to pick a fast person, so I'm going to pick Mark. Here we go. Then you see a picture on the screen of a fireplace, and underneath it says, Use the torch to light the fireplaces. Now what kind of bull crap is that? You gotta use a torch? What do they mean by torch? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? So you're jumping around and you're throwing rocks at... What? A zombie. You're throwing rocks at a zombie. I wonder what if I throw rock outside. Do you think I'll hit a zombie? Let's try it. Alright, take that you dumb zombie. Oh shit. Okay, on the top right of your screen, you'll see five heads. And it's funny, what are these five heads for? And guess what? It's to represent the five counselors. Really? Wait a minute, I thought there were supposed to be six. Why five? Didn't it show six on the map? Also on the map, you'll notice you'll see small houses and big ones. Take for example, if you make the small houses green, the big ones red, what do you get? You get Monopoly. But anyway, getting back to the game. Okay, so on the right top of your screen, you will also have two red circles. One it indicates the counselors, which is the heads, and the other below, which also says, on the right side, children. Okay, so one of the indicators goes off, the circle blinks, and it's right by the heads of the counselors. It lets you know, basically, Jason is on the verge to kill one of the counselors. And the weirdest thing about it is, you also gotta look at the timer. Alright, so you'll get 60 seconds on the clock. And it's like, what the fuck? So where's the counselors? Well, this is what happens. You gotta press start, look at your map, and it shows pinpoint accurately where Jason's gonna strike, and it shows a house blinking with a light green color. And you're like this red person that keeps blinking too. So there you go. Funny too, when you load the map, it shows all these different ways you can go with a red person on the screen. Now take that and put that together with a game board game that has a similar pattern with all the different colors and paths that you can take. Guess what you come up with? You come up with, yes, Candyland. Okay, so you're running along this yellow path with a picket fence, and yet it kind of reminds you of something. You put all that together, what do you get? Follow the yellow brick road, right? But anyway, getting back to the game. Also, when you come into a house where a counselor is in, you will see a menu on the middle right of your screen and the options are change, pass, cure, and take. Now let's explain how these options work. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you see pink circle, and now you've got all the options to choose from. So let's go down the list, shall we? Okay, so what does change mean? Change means that you change into that person that you see right in front of you. Isn't that funny? And then you have another one called pass. What it means is you pass on your weapon 
to that person you want to exchange with. And then you have another one called Cure. Cure means that when your counselor's low on life, you hit the Cure button. And you'll see this big red medicine capsule container disappear from one of your inventory boxes, which somehow revives their life. Isn't that funny? Like, why the hell is the medicine capsule so big? What kind of bullshit is this? I mean, it's as big as my wax candle in the glass. But anyway, getting back to the game. All right, so when you get down to this other word, take. All right, what the hell is this? You can't even take the key. You can't take the lighter. So what's the point of putting the word take in there? If you can't really take something and pass it to the other counselor that you want to exchange it with. All right, what's with this bullshit? Take means to take a note. Sometimes even the big cabins... When you go inside, they have random notes on the floor. Even when you light all the fireplaces, same thing. And my other question is, who the hell would put this note right here? On the floor randomly. I mean, again, that's like me writing a note and just throwing it on the floor and seeing if someone will see it. But my other question is, who's going to see it before they step on it? What the fuck? Okay, what kind of bullshit is this? You read one of the notes, and one of them says, go into the cabin near the cave. What the hell is that supposed to mean? And then you'll get another random note sometimes that says, go into one of the cabins by the lake. What kind of bullshit is this? Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, so you get to this fight scene with Jason, and it looks like you're boxing him out. I might as well be playing Mike Tyson's Punch-Up for the NES. And why the fuck am I throwing rocks at him? And all of a sudden, if you don't get him on that round, you die. Alright, so you think you defeated Jason all of a sudden, but no. It says on the screen, you win for now? What the fuck? How does Jason tell you you win for now? And why do they give Jason a purple jumpsuit? And a light bluish mask? I thought it was white in the movie. Anyway, back to the game. Sometimes Jason will appear randomly outside and you gotta fight him. Instead of him saying you win for now, what the fuck? No, you gotta be kidding me. Jason runs away after you throw a fucking rock at him? Alright, so let's talk about how you get the items. Well, basically, when you're outside, you are either throwing rocks at your opponent, or moving around, jumping all over, and sometimes the item just randomly pops up. Then you gotta jump in that specific area where the item is at in order to get it. Also, let's talk about the random items that you get. For example, you will definitely get a lighter, a knife, medicine, sometimes a key, and a machete. Also, if you want to get the torch or the flashlight, you have to light all the fireplaces for the big cabins before night. And the note says you will find a torch in one of the cabins by the lake. Also, sometimes you might not get the flashlight, but you'll get the torch, definitely. Also, you can get the axe, but the axe is worthless. And it's the same thing with the machete. You might as well stick with the torch. Alright, another thing you'll notice when you get to the woods... You can get lost in here, but if you know the paths very well, you can probably make it to Jason's house. Watch out for the wolves, by the way, too. And what the hell are these wolves? Oh, it's the fucking dogs. I guess they're related to the dog family. Okay, so you get to Jason's door. 
but I don't have a key. What the fuck? So you gotta have a key to get inside Jason's house. But now I got the key, and I go right in Jason's house. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's Jason's mother's head? It looks like one of the heads from Medusa, from Castlevania. But anyway, you keep trying to uh, shoot knives at it. And when you kill it, it gives you a new weapon that will pop up, basically. What the fuck is this? It gives you a fucking machete? All that fucking work for a machete? That's fucking shitty. Okay, when you get to the cave, you'll notice there's holes all over and you gotta jump over platforms. You can also get lost here, but if you can find Jason's house, you're kind of lucky. But you'll need the flashlight to know where to go. Anyway, the other thing is, you'll notice, is you're going to fight his mother's head. But what the fuck? All they did is just change the color. Now she's pink instead of blue. What kind of bullshit is this? But then when you kill her, she gives you a sweater. And even the sweater's a piece of crap. Because it doesn't really protect you anyway, so what's the point of having the sweater? It fucking sucks. You have the sweater. Which frickin' sucks in the game. Um, and now you gotta figure out how to get out of the fucking cave. And it's a fucking nightmare. I guess I might as well just take the axe. What the fuck? Alright, now let's get the fuck out of this cave. Fuck. Oh, okay. There it is. Now I'm out. Okay, so your indicator goes off where it says children, with the circle blinking constantly. Um, and you have to go by a timer just like the counselors. So you gotta figure out where the children are. So you look at your map and it tells you pinpoint accurately where Jason's gonna strike and kill the kids. Okay, so you keep running along the path with the zombie chasing you, I guess. You're even faster than a zombie. But the other thing is, too, you're gonna get to this dock. Oh, now you're in a boat. So these zombies actually jump out of our fucking crow, that's what you get. What the fuck is that? Jason going crazy? Just gain some minds. Thank you? Really? And what's really funny about it is, sometimes if you don't get there in time, it's like they don't say thank you anymore. It's like, what the fuck happened? Jason just cut off their fucking mouth? I guess so. Okay, so now we gotta fight Jason. Hopefully this is the final match. Or round, I would say. Shoot the flames at his ass. Yeah. Axe sucks. Damn right, you ain't gonna do shit with that axe. So you think you took Jason out with one life bar already. But guess what? It's not the end. As a matter of fact, it says Jason gets stronger than ever before. What the fuck? And he's still out there and he's alive? What the hell is this all about? So yeah, you gotta fight him all over again. What the fuck is this? The zombies are all fucking fast. They're as almost fast as Mark. What the fuck? Alright, what the fuck is this? Jason is as fast as fucking Speedy Gonzalez. What the fuck? Okay. I say this. I am done with this fucking game. What the fuck was that noise? Oh shit. All I gotta say is as much as I hate this game, go to hell, Jason!